Hi everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Bodraw team. In this video, you will learn how to set up a simple Ask Page Funnel inside Cheetah. First, let's take a look at our Ask Page Funnel blueprint. So this is a rather interesting funnel because it's made up of just two simple pages. You have your Ask Page and you have your Thank You Page. Now your Ask Page is an opportunity to ask important questions about your business, products, or services. And upon submission, You've captured those answers while redirecting them to the thank you page where they can learn more about you, your company, your products, and or services. Here is where you will use your video to showcase your product or service and allow them a call to action button to allow them to hopefully make a purchase or enter your next funnel. Now let's go take a look at the pages inside Cheetah. All right, so just as I mentioned, we're inside my Ask Page Funnel, and it's made up of two pages. I have my Ask Page, which is serving just as a home page, and then I also have my Thank You page. So let's go into the home page and take a look. So again, if you're looking to start or create your own Ask Page or pages, what you could simply do is just go up to the very top here, go to Add, Select Panels, and go down, and these are your variations of different pages that you can pull from. So here I have an ask page and as you can see it looks very similar to this here. All I did was I selected that and then went in and made the few adjustments to my liking and you could do the same. Okay so here we are on the ask page. Now it's really really important. The important thing is setting up your questions right here. Now this is not an email marketing form. If you right click you're going to find that this is a contact form. Now all you have to do is just simply go in here and make the necessary adjustments. But first, let's take a look at what we got so far. First, I'm asking for their first name, their email. All right, so here we are inside the Ask page. Now, your Ask page may look a little bit different, and you can go through and use the different variations of tools offered by Cheetah to create your Ask page. Now, if you want to take a shortcut like me, all you have to do is go here to Add, Select Panels, and then you have your list of different panel pages that you can pull in from. So as you can see, all of these are alphabetized and there's one called Ask Page. So there's two different options. Now I've dragged in this option here and I've made necessary adjustments to my liking. Now the important thing about the Ask Page here is going to be this form. So as you can see, I'm asking for their name, their email, and then here are my questions to my customers. Okay? Now the difference between this and other forms is that this is going to be set up as a marketing is that this is going to be set up as a contact form and not an email marketing form. So it's a little bit different. So here you don't have a link to set the action of the submit button. It's actually inside here. So let's go in to this set fields area. And here is where you will go in and make sure that you fill out the email field and the other fields here. So under email, you have your email receiver. Where will this information get sent to? I've entered my email address here. I've entered the subject and then here is once they've selected submit where will they be redirected to which is my thank you page you can also go in here and set up your message sent successful message or your error messages next you're going to go into fields and again this is all the information that I'm asking for now to add a new question all you simply have to do is select the plus sign and then go in here and select the type of question that you want to ask. Now there are two different text areas so keep in mind if it's a short answer then use this one here. Now if it's a longer answer then use this one here. So if I select text area all I have to do is just go in and add a label, a tag, default value, whether or not it's required and then simple help text. You can also add an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel here and let's take this first question here. All I did was go in here and select the pencil icon so that you can see how I've entered it. So again, my question that shows up in the area is going to be what is your first question for your site visitor? Where here you can turn around and ask them maybe the favorite color, right? So that you could better understand what customers, uh, what colors customers prefer. All right, so let's go down there. The next thing you could do is here I have your first question, your second question. You could take your second question here and move it up by clicking on the arrow up button. And now you have your second question on top of your first. Let's go ahead and move that back down. 
Go ahead and select save. And we're set. Now let's go take a look at the page live here. All right, so here we are live. So let's go in here. What is your first question? I can go in here. And let's say there was a question being asked. Now I'm going in here and typing in my answer. And then once I select submit, it is now going to take me to the thank you page. Now here, again, this is super important because this is where you want to thank them for providing you the information that they provided, as well as connect with them through both your products and services and your own business. So what you're going to want to make sure you do here is that you want to set up your call to action and let them know that you've got either a specific upsell or a downsell or just more information that they might be interested in learning. And that is how you set up an Ask Page Funnel inside Cheetah. I hope you found the information provided in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frankie Menez with the Boudreaux team.